Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wiles coming live to you from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning walk, man. For first time listeners, I get some exercise in the morning. I walk a few miles around the neighborhood and I share my thoughts with you guys. Good morning, Tessa, good morning, how are you today? I just share my thoughts with you guys, whatever I'm inspired to talk about that day. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day in Houston. I can find a little bit of shade and stop and do my, um, and get this little word out. Yes, a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here. And I can get some walking in. Yes, but if you miss anything, you can look on YouTube. I have um, lots of good stuff on there. Lots of good stuff on YouTube. Uh, I was a little busy these last days, so I didn't get into upload stuff as, um, as quickly as I would like to. Sometimes at the end of the day, sometimes very early the next morning, but I upload it there. I try to do it as quickly as I can, so it can be available. But anyhow, I'm gonna get right into it today. Today, what I wanna talk about, I was flipping through the book of Ecclesiastes, right? And the suspected the book of Ecclesiastes was written by the wise king solomon the suspect it was written by him by some of the language and some of the things that was spoken there it was written by king solomon right and one thing I, and um, there's a lot of good things he shared in there all the stuff that he realized now he's summing up his life a lot of things he did and all of that was meaningless right it was meaningless this was meaningless all of the stuff that we kind of run after and crave right now we say man a lot of the stuff is just meaningless right and at the end of it all at the end of ecclesiastes i'm gonna read ecclesiastes 12 13 through 14 he said this and it caught my attention and i thought i will share this and discuss this this morning right okay this son all right let me get out okay so he said here he said in Ecclesiastes, this is 12, I can read 13 through 14. He said, no, all has been heard. Well, all the things he had said and all the wisdom he shared in Ecclesiastes. He said, no, you hear all of that, what I got to say. He said, here's the conclusion of the matter. There's the conclusion of the matter. He said, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. That's 13. He said, now that all has been heard, you hear all what I got to say, I sum it up, I tell you what is meaningless, and I share a lot of wisdom there. He said, here's the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. I said, oh, why this wise king would make a statement like this, right? And you know Solomon, and then let's go on to 14 first, and then we discuss it. And then he said, for God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it's good or evil. I can read the whole thing from the top again, 13 and 14. He said, now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Man, and King Solomon, good morning, Jillian. Good morning. And you know, King Solomon is, one, is the richest and the wisest man according to the Bible that ever lived, right? The richest and the wisest. He had most of the things that we crave, we crave today. Most of the physical things, I should say, that we crave today. He had the money. He had the fame. He was a handsome man. And he asked for all the guys. He had a lot of women. He had wisdom. He had a kingdom and all that goes along with it, right? So if this man dropping some knowledge, we should listen. We should listen to him, right? I was like, why this man, you know, let me investigate a little bit more and see why he would make such a statement. And the next thing he said here in Ecclesiastes 7, 14, and also caught my eyes. He said, when times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about his future. So he's saying, when times are good, I'm not going to dwell on this a lot today, but this caught my eyes and I thought to share it too. was like, why would he say these things, right? I have to dig a little deeper to get a better understanding why King Solomon would say this, right? So he said, man, when times are good, enjoy it. Enjoy the good times. But he said, when times are bad, just knows the same God. 
is the same God the good times and the same God responsible for the bad times, right? That's like, uh, why would he say that? But if you go back to Kings now, I have to go back to Kings to really get an understanding why Solomon, you're making these statements here. Remember, in four, I'm going to read from 1 Kings 9 through 11. 1 Kings 9 through 11, remember Solomon, he had all of these wives, 700 wives who was daughters of kings. And God said, man, be careful about these women that you marry, they can take you away from your God. And he did. And he, um, and, and they did take him away. He started worshiping these other gods, right? And God get upset with him. So I can pick it up from 1 Kings, um, just read from 9 through 11 and see why he might make in some of these statements that he made here, right? So 1 um, Kings 9, uh, 11, 9 through 11, he said, The Lord was very angry with Solomon, for his heart had turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. He said he had warned Solomon specifically about worshiping other gods, but Solomon did not listen to the Lord's command. So now the Lord said to him, Since you have not kept my commandments and, and have disobeyed my decrees, I will surely tear the kingdom away from you and give it to one of your servants. So, so you see um, why Solomon might make this statement, when times are good, be happy. When times are bad, consider that God has made them both, right? Because when he was in his heyday, is this is God who get him all the wisdom, the riches, the knowledge, and you know, God are responsible for for a lot of those things. When he was following God, God blessed him with all of those things. But well, you know, when he stopped, right? When he stopped following God, he got some hard times. Of, of what he's saying here, he's talking from experience, right? And a lot of regret. So he said, Those bad times that come upon me is when God was angry with me because I stopped following his commandments. Right, I stopped following this. I got so carried away with my riches and my knowledge and my wisdom. I start to think, you know, I got this from here, man. I got this right, and and, and a lot of us make the mistake, right? But we gotta listen to what Solomon's saying here, right? He's saying the conclusion: fear God and keep His commandments, right? For this is the duty of all mankind. You know, if you do that continuously, you would continue to get the blessing. When you stop and thinking you got it. He's saying them bad times can come. And it's the same God can be responsible for the good times and the bad times. We can get into a little more and drill down on, on, on the Ecclesiastes 7, 14 with the good times and the bad times. I don't really want to dwell on it. But it caught my eye and I think I would share it. But he's saying it's the same God. Because if you stop following the commandments, right? And, you know, the earlier we get this, man, the earlier we understand this, is better. We don't want to, you know, the famous statement that we make. If I had known then what I know now, things would have been different. Man, but you know it, man. And we should think, I think King Solomon, he was a wise man and he given us this advice. I think we should take it and listen to him, man. Just listen to what he's saying. At the end of it all, when he had all that he had, this is what he said life boiled down to. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is the duty of all mankind. This is a man who, who did a lot, who had a lot, did a lot. And this is what he said life boils down to. Just fear God and keep his commandments. And all the things that we're chasing, if you go to Ecclesiastes, all the things that we're chasing and craving, he said, man, those stuff is meaningless. If you do this, fear him and keep his commandments, them stuff going to run after you rather than you running after them. Them stuff is going to be running after you, all the money and the riches and all the stuff that we trying to get, you know, a lot of other stuff. He said, if you fear him and keep his commandments, those stuff is automatic. The stuff that we chasing is automatic. It comes as a part of the territory for following him. It's a part of the reward for following his commandments. They're automatic. So he's saying that's what life boils down to, man. And this is the wisest man and the richest man. And that's what he advising us. I think we should just listen and take this stuff and listen to his advice right now. We can't say if I know then what I know now. Yes, if I had known then, what I know now, uh, things would have been a whole lot different. But you know what? I know it now, and I'm going to try to do my best to take King Solomon's advice here and fear him and keep his commandments, man. I, I, I know it now, so I have no excuse now. I have to practice. And, 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 and King Solomon, a lot of people depend on his wisdom, come from far and wide to tap into his wisdom. So I think I'm going to follow what he's saying here, man. So that's all That's all in a nutshell. I want to leave with you guys today what the wise King Solomon said. So fear God 
keep his commandments for this is the duty of all mankind guys i'm gonna leave it with you guys this weekend and i'm going too long today have a great great weekend man and we'll talk again on monday okay bye